Jutland was the only true naval conflict of the First World War. It took place from May 31st to June 1st, 1916, and was a huge turning point in naval warfare. The Germans, under the command of Vice Admiral Franz Hipper, planned to use a fast scouting group of five modern battlecruisers to lure out the British battlecruiser squadrons commanded by Vice Admiral Sir David Betty into the path of the main German fleet. They stationed their submarines in advance across a likely route of the British ships. However, this didn't go according to plan as the British intercepted a telegram from the Imperial German Navy and discovered the Germans were preparing an attack. The Germans, unaware of the interception, continued to enact their plan. The British, knowing that an attack was inevitable, went on the defensive and attempted to regroup so they could face the Imperial German Navy as a whole if they attempted a full-scale attack. The small band of five German battlecruisers tasked with luring out the British battlecruisers ran into them long before they expected to. The Germans, realizing this was their chance, managed to lure out the British to where the German Navy was waiting. By the time the British saw the German Navy turn back toward the main fleet, they had already lost two battlecruisers. The British baited the Germans toward their main fleet in hopes of overpowering the Germans and achieving victory. Once in range, the two navies, totaling 250 ships in all, directly clashed twice throughout the battle, and by the end of it, the British would lose a total of three battlecruisers, three armored cruisers, and eight destroyers, along with 6,094 sailors killed, 674 wounded, and 177 captured. The Germans, on the other hand, would lose one battlecruiser, one free dreadnought, four light cruisers, and 61 torpedo boats along with 2,551 sailors killed and 570 wounded. As night fell, the British maneuvered to cut the Germans off from their base, hoping to continue the battle the next morning. But under the cover of darkness, the Germans broke through the British light forces, forming the rearguard of the Grand Fleet and returned to port. Immediately after the battle, both sides claimed victory. The British lost more ships and twice as many sailors, but succeeded in containing the German fleet. For the British press criticized the Grand Fleet's failure to the force a decisive outcome, while the Germans' plan of destroying a substantial portion of the British fleet somewhat succeeded. Finally, the British strategy of denying Germany across both the United Kingdom and the Atlantic did succeed, which was the British long-term goal. The Germans, fleet and being, continued to pose a threat, requiring the British to keep their battleships concentrated in the North Sea, but the battle reinforced the German policy of avoiding all fleet to fleet contact. At the end of 1916, after further unsuccessful attempts to reduce the Royal Navy's numerical advantage, the German Navy accepted that its surface ship was successfully contained, subsequently turning all its efforts and resources toward an unrestricted submarine warfare and the destruction of allied 